Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a quick video on how to modify the passenger seat on a Chevy Bolt EV. And so here's an example of a large bulky item that should be able to fit in a car, but as you can see, it does not. And what happens over here is this is touching right here. And this is with the seat in the full normal position. So you say, well, okay, well, why don't we just fold the seat forward, right? We've got all of this space, huge amount of space right here. So you say, okay, there's no passenger in the car, so let's go ahead and fold the seat forward so we can get this box in. And so guess what? Here's, here's what happens right here. That's it. That's as far as it's going to fold forward, which is absolutely pathetic because it still leaves about another three feet, maybe, or three and a half feet of open space there. So the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and, well here, let me show you what this looks like so far. So what did that gain us? Right here. So it gained us about five and a quarter inches by doing that. That's all it did, five and a quarter inches. And so now let's go ahead and push the seat forward and see what that gets us. So by doing that, that increased it to a total of just under nine inches. And that's as good as it's gonna get. What if you have some bigger items? You know, we've got three feet of wasted space right here. And as far as I could tell, the only thing that's causing the problem here is the seat not being able to fold forward significantly more and or better yet would be to fold completely flat. Is there any reason why this seat can't fold flat? So anyway, that's the subject of today's video. So let's go ahead and modify this seat and make it so that it does fold flat or at least try to improve it. And so this is what it looks like when I'm hauling two by four lumbers. Now I've done this before. I've actually been able to stick 12 sticks in here about. And what you do is you just do two, you do two sticks high uh, one right next to each other and basically rest it on the, on the uh, armrest there. So you have, this would be the right one and it'd be another one right adjacent to it. And that basically would go basically like that. It would basically be right here, touching. And most of the weight is resting on, on the seat. So it's just kind of balancing on that, on that seat, basically. And that's what I've done before, so I know that that works, but um, it just seems ridiculous because if that damn seat wasn't in the way, it would change everything. First thing you're going to want to do is push the seat all the way back. And then you're going to want to disconnect the seat heater and the airbag wiring, which is right here. It's a little access port. Let's reach down there. Push this little orange tab in, and then the, this gray lever will come up to release that. And then you want to get yourself a T50 Torx drive. And you want to loosen up the bolts here. There's two in the front. Next you want to push the seat all the way forward to get access to your back bolts, which are located here. Next you're going to want to find a spot to lay down your seat, such as so. And then you want to want to take off the plastic side pieces here. So this came right off. Um, you're going to need a T27 star drive. There's two bolts right here. Once you pull that piece off, you can see now after inspecting and playing around with it a little bit, it looks like we have a, a little metal piece right here. This metal piece is hitting this end here. So this one's a little bit more of an obstacle here with the, the plastic. There's this lower piece that's not on the other side and there's also this piece is not as small. It wraps all the way around. So I unbolted it, but it's still it's still stuck in there. So it looks like I'm starting to crack the, the plastic here as I'm taking this off. So that's kind of not the best thing here. But um, anyway, what you're going to need, you're going to need a T25 bit for this one right here. And you're going to need an 8 millimeter for that one up there. So like for the lower, that's the height adjustment, and then this is for the tilt. So once you get those off, then this comes off, another T27 up here, 
and uh, that gets us where we're at. So looks like it's identical to the other side. So as you can see, there's a gap right there. So it's one notch away from from hitting the the uh, end there. Okay, so here's the right side. I think we got it done. I'll try to get the camera in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I think I got it bent out of the way. So what I started with was a pry bar just to get it kind of started. And then I took a masonry chisel and a hammer. And just whacked the hell out of it. And that's pretty much what got it to where we're at here. So I think we're looking pretty good here. So I think that's going to clear now. If not, we can whack it some more. It's definitely um, working. It's just a matter of if I whacked it enough or if I can, if I need to, I can continue on with it. But anyway, that looks like it's going to work. So we're going to continue to do that procedure on this side. Here we are on the left side. Same procedure. Just whack it. Bend it out of shape there. So the thing clears. Now you can see that it's moved a little bit further. We've now cleared it. A bit but now we have more obstacles in the way now it looks like this plastic that's holding this the the, the opposite side of this because it attaches to another half that's wrapped on the inside here is is jammed in the way right here you can see that this thing is just pried up right up against here this piece right here is just choking it all up again so like we got to take that out of the way now so in order to get that plastic off, what we ended up doing is using some metal uh, snips and we basically just cut it right here. So this piece was back here. We cut it right in this position here. That came out and then this was able to just be pulled out afterwards. So uh, that's done. Um, that should be the last restrictor here. Um, but since that piece, it, it was something that you can see um, on the other side, there's also where the, the outer piece would, would connect at. So because of that, I figured there's no reason to keep this other piece. So I basically uh, just tore that off as well. That way it's nice and consistent. So just took that. So basically all the plastic stuff is gone. And then we had this lower piece down here. That was on here one way or the other. I think this way. Took that off as well, because why why not? It's just garbage. So I got it to fold about that much right there, maybe about 45 degrees or so. But now it's bumping into something else. So now we have it looks like the side bolsters on the upper section is hitting some metal on the lower section. Right here on both sides. So I think we can just pull this fabric out and snap it and then clip off some of that plastic right there. Maybe cut off an inch or two. Cut some plastic off on the side right here. Right where my thumb is at. That used to be supported. Now it's not. So it does push, um, push it down a little bit further. But still, we're not there yet. It, there's Now it appears to be hitting... This other plastic right here, there's this plastic right here where I'm pointing to the side plastic here. So I clipped off another little piece of plastic here that was restricting it on both sides. And that got us a little bit further. And now we are hitting again. So this time it's the metal frame of the upper portion. And then there's a metal frame of the lower portion. And so we now have metal on metal colliding here. Just a little piece of fabric is the only thing that's in between there. But those are actually colliding now. So, unfortunately, that's as good as it's going to get. Now, it is definitely an improvement. Hopefully, it's enough of an improvement to justify the whole effort that we put into this. But let's go ahead and put this back in the car and uh, see what we got. Here it is with the seat forward and tilted as far as it will go. So it's kind of interesting. Um, it's interesting. So it's definitely an improvement. We're definitely going to be able to utilize some more space here. This is coming out better than expected. So as you can see here, this is the box fully pushed forward. 
Not only do we have quite a bit additional space here for a lengthier item, but what's nice is we keep it straight. So what that gains us is that we have a fully useful passenger seat here that somebody could come back here and sit, you know, totally comfortably. No hunching over, no squatting, no nothing, you know. You wouldn't have to sit uncomfortably. The driver doesn't have to sit uncomfortably. You have room for two people, full-size people, to sit comfortably. You carry your big, large item, and you still got room to spare. And now I've got one stick here, just for an example, but we could probably put... We could probably stack this sucker up with... Probably at least a couple dozen, probably three dozen sticks right here, just just basically placing them in there how we have them right here. Just we got plenty of height, plenty of room. It's a nice flat, stable platform too. I mean we do have the headrest right here, but I think what we could probably do in this particular case is just simply put a stick right here going across and that would get us a little more height. And then we'd be able to have it basically prop it up like that and just go right over that thing. And still have plenty of room here. So, as much as I would like this thing to go all the way down, I think we've achieved pretty much 95% of what we wanted to achieve here by doing this. So if you're in lumber hauling mode, this is just a little example here. I've kind of just kind of mocked it up here. If you have a five gallon bucket, maybe a couple boxes or something, this is just some foam stuff, but you could build yourself a little front deck. That way you clear the seat you can see there, you're not touching the seat. No pressure on the seat. The pressure is right here, and it's, and it's back here on the seat. And then you simply just build that up. You got yourself a nice wide platform right there. You could probably stick this. These are, this is a two by four, eight foot long. You could probably put six, seven, eight of them across here, and then just keep building it up. You could probably put 50 boards in here. I don't think any problem at all. The weight wouldn't be a problem. It wouldn't be a, wouldn't be an issue at all. You just have to have make sure that you put some sort of some sort of like uh, platform there in the front to balance it out. So if you're just carrying a couple of sticks, I think uh, like the two by fours, you could probably put two of them right next to each other, right here, and then you could just stack on top of that vertical, probably uh, probably four high. You could carry eight of them like that, or you could carry for two by twelves or two by tens or two by sixes and then just take a bungee cord and then adjust it to your to your load and tie it down right there and that would keep it pretty secure from going side to side you have yourself a pretty solid platform there i don't think it's going to go anywhere and that's all all you have to do is carry a bungee cord with you that's all you need to do that and you still have a passenger who can sit here comfortable could not do that before so yeah, I like this mod a lot. Another thing that's interesting that I was was an interesting surprise is that this thing it it locks it's locked in position, so it still latches. So you know, back where it was formerly, it would go a certain to a certain point. It would latch, you know, at increments, and then it wouldn't do anything beyond that, right? But what it does now is it still latches as you go further down. So if you had a big item or something back here, but maybe it's not that big. Maybe it stops right here. You could simply pull this back a little bit. I can't do it with two hands. I need a third hand. Oh. But see, it, it latches. It will latch back. And then you can push it forward. And it latches down. So it, it locks in pl place. So that's a nice... That's a nice feature. I didn't think that was going to... I thought it was going to be just flapping back and forth. You know, once we went beyond that... Once we took that metal stop out. So here's what it looks like from the rear seat looking forward. You can see the driver's side, the plastic trim there. And this is what the other one looks like. So it really, just, it really doesn't look all that different. I don't really don't think anyone's really going to notice that. Maybe an option would be to take off the plastic on that side just to make it even. But I just don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Many more videos to come.